Hi everybody, welcome once again to another Low on Health Daily Rambling, where I kind of go over what I've been doing the last past couple of days. Now I know I really haven't been updating these, that's because actually for the last past, you know, three days almost straight I've been playing Modern Warfare 2. Uh, they finally fixed the uh, the maps to where every, the maps are incorporated into a normal playlist and everything is double experience, even the cage matches that I do. So I've just been kind of plowing through them like clockwork. And the cool thing is they've also recently basically let you, uh, they gave away free Mono Warfare 2 night vision goggles to, uh, for people that bought the stimulus package, which, you know, kind of makes up for the a big amount of, you know, the $15 to pay for the maps. Uh, but, uh, I thought it was kind of cool. And actually you can see it on my little avatar right there. He has a little, uh, the night vision goggles on, which you can't actually use in multiplayer, but Hey, a free thing that's two bucks, you know, kind of makes buying it a little bit more worth it. But that's really what I've been doing is playing Modern Warfare 2 a lot. Uh, real quick, I want to check my friends list to see what everybody's doing. Um, Darren's playing uh, Sacred. He didn't mention that he was playing that with a friend. And of course, you got people playing, the, watching videos, watching movie, Modern Warfare, sports game, sports game. Um, but basically, I've been playing the game almost nonstop. Haven't really watched that much. Basically, sleep, eat, and then play Modern Warfare 2 because I want to take advantage of the double experience as much as possible. In which case, it's mainly thanks to Hellspose. I've been playing with him a lot, basically really in the late night because he's one hour behind us in Florida. Um, and of course, Darren, I've been doing it with, and then uh, Trent. Uh, basically, we've all been kind of, he also has the uh, helmet on. We've been doing the cage matching, which has been really fun. It kind of just almost severely boosting my uh, leveling. Like, I should be able to prestige again. That's basically prestiging in three to four days, which is very nice. But uh, as the stuff I have watched, I did uh, basically want to mention Escapist has a bunch of new videos out. Uh, of course, they, the main ones I want to mention real quick is, of course, the finale for uh, Doomsday Arcade, which I really enjoy Doomsday Arcade. It's one of the, uh, oops, it's one of the uh, main first uh, series on Escapist that I really enjoyed, and it kind of came to an end. A really interesting end, but uh, it's definitely worth watching, and if you haven't watched it, start from the beginning. I'm probably actually going to watch all the episodes soon just to kind of bang them all out again to refresh my mind, but it was really entertaining. Um, also, what I really enjoyed is, of course, Zero Punctuation's take on Final Fantasy XIII. Yahtzee kind of has almost the same predicament I did. Is he got to a point and said, I don't want to play this anymore. It's not fun. And then, of course, Unskippable has a nice little April Fool's spoof for Final Fantasy XIII. They actually did Final Fantasy VI, or three, depending on how you look at it, which was kind of cool for them to do an Unskippable on an old-school uh, game, and I hope they almost do that more because it's, it's easier to make fun of the older stuff. Also, another thing I watched recently is the new Penny Arcade video that came up. I've kind of been watching these on and off, but this one I really want to mention because they kind of touch on their book. They basically did their 10-year anniversary book where they kind of talk about the company, not just their comics, and they're actually doing a book tour with it. And this was a nice little video to kind of get you a behind-the-scenes of uh, the book signing and kind of the company and who's in the company and whatnot. Moving on real quick, we got a Game FAQ polls. I'm just going to go over a couple quick ones. Uh, the first one is, what do you think of this April, this year's April Fool's joke? In which case, they didn't do one, so that's why nobody said I don't get it. What am I missing? Uh, the other one was basically, which scheduled April release are you most looking forward to? Um, honestly, I was drafting at straws here. The only one that's actually in my Gamefly queue is Nier, which I voted on. But of course, you see people all tizzy for whatever reason for Super Street Fighter 4, even though it's like less than a year the first one came out. Whatever. And Tom Clancy Conviction, which actually looks really good, and maybe I'll rant it, but it's just not my thing. Uh, today's Game FAQ poll is, do you plan to buy an iPad? Uh, no, they're too expensive for what they offer. I mean, I really don't care about the iPad. I was sort of interested in it, but it's going to be way too expensive. Um, it, probably not. It's too seems kind of pointless to me. I mean, it does seem pointless, but if it was 5 bucks, I'd buy it. Moving on to Gamefly here. I did send back Just Cause 2, and they got it, and I basically decided to, hey, once again, throw in Far Cry 2 into the top queue there just to you know, kind of get a game because I have no games out and then Renaissance of Fate's low and like I said I'm waiting for like a PS3 save so I can new game plus through it and then Nier which basically comes out at the end of this month now, I mean April is kind of kind of slim pickings for uh, April but then of course it's going to pick up in May I do want to mention Red Dead Redemption which is on the list there which is coming out basically in 5-6 weeks it's really cool they have a couple of uh, I was going to show game trailer stuff but I can't because they always block it um, Red Dead Redemption is, you know, the open sandbox Wild West type game, and they had another uh, kind of featurette of it up on game trailers, uh, which showed kind of more of the universe and how the game plays, and I really am getting really excited about Red Dead Redemption. It looks like a really fun game to play, and I can't really wait to play it. It's going to be a nice open world game, and I haven't played one of those since, well, just cause, but I, I want a more grounded one. But, uh... Other than that, that's kind of really about it. I know this is kind of rushed, but I am still alive. I've actually uh, gone done the usual midnight shopping at Walmart. I realized McDonald's stopped serving lunch and dinner at 4 because I wanted to get me two McDoubles at 4.30 and there was some breakfast. And 
I personally think the breakfast is a little too costly because I always just get the steak, egg, and cheese bagel. That, of course, is me just rambling on and on and on. But uh, other than that, I'm going to probably get back to playing Modern Warfare 2 after I edit this. So uh, uh, I will leave you guys with that, and I'll talk to you next time.